Hello my friends, in this video I'm going to show you how you can extract the vocals out of any song without ever leaving your DAW, without ever leaving Cubase and you're going to have full control for remixes, for mixing and mastering situations. Spoiler alert, this is going to be yet another BOOM moment. Lately I've been doing quite a few workshops around the UK, I've been doing mixing, mastering, production, sound design workshops and one of the latest workshops that I did at SAE in London, I realized something. I realized that sometimes I might be taking things for granted. Sometimes I think that features that I use every day and it's part of my workflow are features that pretty much every Cubase user knows about. But I'm wrong, I'm clearly wrong because sometimes I meet you guys, after talking with you I realize that some of the features are not so obvious and some people don't know about them. So let's talk about a feature in Cubase that I think it's brilliant, it's unique to Cubase, I don't think that any other DAW has a feature like this and this is the voice to music separation that you can do in any song once you drop it into Cubase. So let me show you how easy it is. This is not going to be a long video because it's actually so easy. The one thing that many people miss and I realize that in order to do everything that I'm going to show you, you have to have spectral layers installed into your system alongside your Cubase installation. The only thing you need to do is run your Steinberg Download Assistant, choose your Cubase version, this is available on Cubase 12 Pro and Cubase Artist 12 and also on Cubase 11 but it's an older version and make sure you have the Spectral Layers application installed. As far as I can see here there's an update 9.0.20 and I'm going to install this straight after this video. Now it's very important that you do this otherwise you won't have this feature inside Cubase. Now Spectral Layers of course is a massive really powerful app and it can do a lot of things but in Cubase we have this specific feature where you can separate the voice to the instrumental of any track. So let me show you how you do this. I'm going to play this track right here. Pockets on my coat, salt and lips, magnetic shore. Seven years of passing notes, bold and sung and unreal. So as you can see this is a stereo track, now let's say I want to separate the vocal to the rest of the instruments. Let me show you how easy that is and again I have to stress out, you don't have to go out to a separate app and do this and then bring back all the tracks. Let me show you how you do this, you go to audio and then we select extensions. Now if you do what I told you previously and you install spectral layers you're going to have spectral layers as an option here. So I'm going to click on this and now spectral layers analyzes this track and now we can do the magic. I'm going to go to layer and I'm going to select unmix vocals. Now if you have the full version of spectral layers you can also separate the drums, the bass, the piano and all these things but in its basic form you can just do this and unmix the vocals. So as you can see we have several controls here, we have sensitivity, you can try zero at first and if this doesn't give you the perfect result you can start fine tuning it. I always choose this process to be non-destructive and then we can hit OK. And once we do this, Cubase is going to analyze the audio and it's going to give us the unmixed vocals and the instrumental. And boom! There we go. Now we have everything laid down for us. So as you can see here I have my track Imperfection V2 and if you check here we have the vocals and I can solo them and you can see just the vocals right here and my piano drums, bass and other in separate channels. So what I can do now, let's go here to this busy section and let's see what we have. Let's play the instrumental first. And just like this, we have our vocal stem right there for us.
Okay, now it doesn't stop there. Let me show you what makes this feature so powerful in Cubase. And it's a great feature for people that want to do remixes, even for mastering engineers that want to have a little bit more control over their elements. You know, sometimes you have a client that comes to you. This has happened to me a lot of times. And they tell me, hey, Dom, listen, I have this track. This is from the 80s or it's from early uh, 90s. And I don't have access to the original mix, but I want the vocals to be louder. I want the vocals to be a little bit brighter. I want the vocals to be a little bit fuller. This is what I do when I have to deal with situations like this instead of starting to butcher the whole track altogether. And let me show you how this works because it's very, very cool. Let's say I want to have these tracks inside Cubase. What I can do is I can drag and drop the vocals here. I'm going to let it go and immediately, boom, we have our vocals track right here. Let's do the same for the instrumental. I'm going to go here, drag it, drop it. You can drop it anywhere. Doesn't matter. Cubase will do it just right for you. It's going to be perfectly aligned. You don't have to worry about anything else. Hit OK. And there we go. Boom. We have the vocals and the instrumental right there. So in this case, I'm going to mute this for a second and let's play the vocals now again. And now the great thing is I can start EQing these vocals, I can start adding compression, I can process them exactly how I want. And the great thing is if you combine these two channels together, you're going to get exactly the same result like the original stereo file, which is very important. You're not going to get any weird artifacts or something like this. Let's do it so we can hear the difference. Let's add some EQ. And this is bliss, you know, because now I can have the vocals a little bit louder, a little bit softer in the mix. I have total control. So this is not only a feature that's useful for uh, remixing applications, of course. Remixing is going to be the number one application that I see people are going to be using something like this for, but it's also very useful for mixing, for mastering, if you want to separate elements. And of course, if you want even more control, you can check out the Spectral Layers full version and this will give you all these instruments separately. So piano, drums, bass, and others. This is going to be synths and anything else in the arrangement that doesn't fall into the other categories. And it goes without saying that I can do the same thing with the instrumental. I can go to my instrumental and start EQing it, making it wider, enhancing it without compromising my vocals. See how I can bring up these violins? If the vocals were in the same track, I would have completely destroyed my vocal sound. So do you see now why I'm always so excited uh, when it comes to Cubase? These are tools that allow you to do the job. These are tools that save you time. This is something that I don't have to go into another app, do the whole thing, verify it, bring it back into my DAW, synchronize it, making sure that nothing is off, making sure that nothing is out of phase. This is all happening inside Cubase and this is brilliant. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't done so already. It's completely, completely free. And if you feel like it and you want to support me, use the super thanks button. This video is not sponsored, of course. And I hope that if you're one of these Cubase users that you were not aware of this feature, I put a smile on your face today. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.